Hello CQ, hello CQ, CQ. This is Mexico Zero, X-ray, 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 M0, triple X, calling CQ on two meters and listening. Well, hello folks, and welcome back to the wonderful world of dubious engineering. This is the Kong Shang TK118 uh, handy talky device. Um, little, well, actually quite a nice little radio comms device, in my humble opinion, uh, for various different reasons. So um, I've seen some YouTubers that just basically trash talk this. Uh, Tech Minds uh, took a golf club and a hammer to his. Um, anyway, it's been sent in by Banggood, um, and I must admit, I like it for various reasons. One of the reasons why I like it is because the battery itself has an independent USB-C port in it. So you can effectively just charge the thing up by plugging a USB-C cable into it. You don't have to have a dock, which a lot of these devices, you end up having to have a dock. So let's just... Uh, Put the battery in place, and there's a couple of different batteries, a couple of different models, a monstrosity of um, a monstrosity of an aerial. Uh, this aerial goes 50 to 54 megahertz, 136 to 170 megahertz, and 400 to 480 megahertz. So, hence the weird, wonderful knobby bit on the end of it here, um, and that just screws into screws into the SMA connector on the top of the unit um, and um, allegedly you get 10 watts out of this on transmit you don't actually uh, you get somewhere sort of around seven eight watts um, and it sort of varies depending on what your what band you're on I'm not going to go through the effort of actually checking all the different all the power output levels on those bands so an interesting thing that you get with this radio is a ferrite rod with an eighth inch jack on it um, and that pokes pokes into the top here you can turn it on you can turn the radio on and get the monkey face pop up and and there we go we're listening to uh, we're listening to am um, through the ferrite rod I'll show you that in a little bit more detail Might not because that is going to become the most famous commentary we can give you some Ian Dennis quotes if you want on the go yeah, we, we could well change you couldn't we I think it would be and it does actually work quite nicely when you're out and about. Um, I must admit, you, I did see a video with a slightly larger ferrite rod that someone had procured from somewhere and they plugged it into this radio. And it was actually quite a lot more successful. And I've also seen people uh, connecting um, uh, long wires into this and overloading the front end of the receiver and everything gets a little bit mucky. So various, various degrees of success there. However, all of that said, what I do like about this is it's a wideband or an open receiver, basically um, long wave, medium wave, short wave, all the way up um, through the ham bands. And uh, I think it goes up to 1.2 gigahertz. So as a receiver, not bad, really, when you think about it. Um, the cost, I think, cost is probably about 50 quid, something like that. Um, the, where I do, where I wasn't entirely enamoured with this radio is is when you change frequency. So if you press and hold the button until you take your finger off the button, you get no reception. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's not actively scanning and showing you the um, the response, the immediate response of the frequency. I'm trying to figure out a way of, of explaining this. In order to listen to the frequency, you have to take your finger off the button each time you change frequency. Because if you just hold your finger on the button, it scans up the band and, and it doesn't actually receive anything. It's really weird. But when you take your finger off the button, then you receive something again. So, for instance, let's say, um, let's just go back to, if I just enter in here, 000909, right? So if I now scan up, just buzzing, if I scan down past 909, just buzzing until you take your finger off. Yeah? So, 
So I do find that a little bit distressing, the fact that um, when you're scanning up and down a band with the buttons here, um, it's not actually receiving anything until you take your finger off the button. Uh, so that's a little bit disappointing, if I'm honest. So the thing that I do love about it, if, if we get in here and we go uh, 144250, something like that, um, and then we change band. Um, if remember the where the band button is. Um, yeah, modulation. There we go. So we've actually now got uh, upper side band on one four four two fifty. So we've got upper side. We've got the ability on a two meters to receive upper side band. I think that's lovely. I mean, basically, you can change mode for receive over all of the um, over all of the uh, the different bands that this um, over the full range of different bands that this handheld works on. So I'll say it's a pretty good receiver. Um, I, I like the, the the gimmick of being able to plug in uh, a separate aerial for the sort of long wave, medium wave, short wave uh, modes. Um, I really do like the fact that you can fit. Um, a USB cable directly into the battery and charge the battery with just a cable rather than having to slot it into um, a, uh, a base station. I like the fact that it's a multi-band radio uh, when it comes to transmit. And um, yeah, I just, you know, generally speaking, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think it's a little bit expensive, uh, perhaps it's maybe a little bit expensive for what it is. And also, I think sort of, you know, the, the, the tuning could be better. If you press and hold a button, you'd expect it to actually scan and receive at the same time, um, rather than just make noise. And when you take your finger off the button, then it receives. Yeah, that, that I wasn't entirely enamored about that side of it. The, the writing on the keypad is a little bit small, so you best get your old man glasses on. Uh, and obviously, it's got... Um, two channels that so you can receive them both at the same time and actually have the ability to be able to transmit on the uh, upper channel and transmit on the lower channel. Generally speaking, I'm yeah, I'm, 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 I'm all right with it. I think it's quite cool. I, I love the fact it's got a really wide range of uh, receiving options and the fact that um, you can change mode and stuff like that. The Quan Shang TK11 in all of its glory. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks ever so much for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful week and weekend. Uh, don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff, and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers and beers for now. Bye. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. The bee almost got the... It's very messy everywhere.